job sequencing models and jobs on three machines. We've already seen the other video how to do n jobs on two machines. If machines are sequential, as you do A, then you do B, and then you do C machine, and you have the processing time and hours in all three of them, as you could see here, using Johnson and Bellman. There is, on, 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 on the same algorithm we've seen before, there is one addition. If the all the minimum, if the minimum of A is greater than the greater or equal to maximum of B, and the maximum of B processing time is less or equal to the minimum of C. Therefore, if one of those is either or both, those conditions they apply, we have to, we're obliged to sum up the processing time of A plus B and B plus C, and then we apply the already uh, Johnson algorithm we already know. Okay, so uh, let's see how it goes. If the minimum of A is greater or equal to B, of maximum of B and the maximum of B is less or equal to minimum of C. Let's see. So if the minimum of A, which is in this condition, is 3, okay, is it greater or equal to the maximum of B, which is 6? No. Okay, so this condition is not applicable. If the maximum of B, which is 6, Okay, is less or equal to medium minimum of C, which is 6, so it is applicable. So we have to sum them up, which I already did it. So we do 4 plus 4, which is 8, and 4 plus 6, which is 10. So we add up A plus B processing time, we put them here, and B plus C processing time, and we put them here. Okay, and, and then we redo the same work. So the minimum of G is is a and the minimum of b of h is 10 so we start with job one okay and we we scratch this as if it's not there okay so second we eliminate job one and now we continue the same manner the minimum of so we eliminated job one so we eliminated job one okay and we continue the same manner the minimum here is eight and the minimum here is ten so we need uh, so we continue the same manner so the minimum is here is eight as well and the minimum here is ten so job four is the next uh, uh, candidate so we put the job four here and then we have to do the same on this one okay and then we continue we have job five okay which is nine and then we have eleven which is job three and then at the end we have two as job four And we're done. So the new uh, sequence is one four five, and I need to delete this. The new sequence is one four five three two, which we're gonna work it out now. One four five three and two. Okay. So we're gonna start now on machine A with job one. I need to remind you this is a sequential job, so it goes A, then B, and then C. So we have to start on machine A, it's obligatory. And machine A is never idle because we already have five jobs. They have to be processed on A and then B and then C. So machine A is never idle as it's not waiting for another machine to finish so machine A can start in this perspective. So if you start with job one. I've already copied those ones here. Okay, so if we start with job one, job one is four hours. So it starts at zero, it finishes at four hours. The one after it, I'm gonna continue with machine A, it's easiest for me in this way. So job four is six hours. I'm just copying those numbers. So it starts at four, it finishes at 10. Job 5 is 3 hours, so it starts at 10, it finishes at 13. 
job three is eight hours so it start at 18 21 job two is nine hours so this is 21 it finished at 30 as easy as this now we get to uh, machine b job uh, one is four hours so let's see how it goes it's four hours so this one is idle why because it is waiting for uh, I will fix this one here because I copied like the same size I will fix it in a second because here at job one is literally literally what I did we have to wait machine B has to wait for machine A to finish before it start so it's four hours as well so this one is eight okay uh, job just uh, listen to this so it, it machine B it finished at eight hours but the job four does not finish till 10 so it has to wait for 10 for two more hours so this one start at 10 but I'm gonna do it in this way we have to do it I'm gonna do it in a nice way so here I'm gonna write an equation let's do this let's do it like this okay so here I'm gonna write an equation so if condition if this one is greater or equal to that one so here we consider this otherwise we consider L okay so this one is 10 okay and if we go all the way down so this one is 30 but they will change when we do this okay so job 4 is so job 4 is 2 so here is 12 okay and then after uh, job 4 we have 13 for job 5 is 6 so this one is 19 okay although it finished at 20, uh, 19 but here is 20 and then we have job 3 which is 3 so it's 24 and then which is 30 here we have job 2 which is 5 so 35 okay let's see about the idle time if it is uh, correct or not here it way finish machine b it finish at 8 and finish at 8 and it it, it waited for yes it finished at 8 and it waited for two minutes till machine one finish so here uh, so literally this one is equal uh, 10 minus that one here so it's two uh, i guess this is perfect okay because here it finished at eight processing job one but it didn't start till 10 it finished at 12 but it didn't start till uh, 13 it finished at 19 then it started 21 it finished 24 then it started 30 so we have six 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 hours okay and the total of and the total of six seven nineteen and here i will fix it in a second okay uh, so this is machine b and then now we'll start with time in on machine a so it start at eight this is the time in and for job one it requires six so this one is 14 and so here is finish at 14 we have to do the same condition i'm gonna do copy so so this one is 14 okay perfect so job four uh, require eight so 22 okay and so it finished at 19 but does not start till uh, machine c is free and then job five it requires seven so 29 and job 3 it require 8 or 11 sorry job 3 it require 11 so here we have 40 and last job is so job 2 it require 9 so we have here 49 okay so let's 
sees idle time literally here we have we starting at 8 so that one is equal this okay so we have idle time of um, minus the time in which is 0 so it's 8 here is 14 minus 14 so literally here because it's taking more time so the product is waiting for the machine to be free therefore we don't have to, too many idle time but we need to add on this idle time which is 15 we need to add the following that machine 1 okay so this value here is equal to 49 minus 49 minus 30 because machine 1 it finished processing at 30 and it waited for 19 more minutes doing nothing and because we finished all the job okay and so here as well 35 it waited so here plus between parentheses this minus that one here okay this is perfect so the total idle time is equal to this plus this plus that one here and the total elapsed time is equal to that one here okay as simple as that okay it's uh, so please if you have any question just message me uh, i left my email in the box description below and it's very easy and very straightforward we've seen here how to sequence model and job on a machine using johnson or bellman method